started to do this research because I am really interested in ferns. Um, I really like the habitat that they grow in and I think they're really interesting species and there's really not very much known about how the species, how, how ferns in general res will respond to climate change. Um, so I decided to study an interesting species that is asexual and it lives in really interesting habitats throughout the Appalachian Mountains. Um, this image right here is a picture of a habitat. So it lives in rock crevices. Um, it's ideally it's uh, protected from fluctuations in climate. Um, and to determine how the species is going to respond to climate change, I have three objectives that I wanted to meet. So the first objective um, was to determine what is the microclimate where this plant lives. So what temperatures um, is it interacting with? Um, and are the temperatures different outside of the rock shelter, so outside of the population than inside? Uh, using small data loggers and recording temperature 12 times a day, um, I was able to analyze that and determine that yes, it really is significantly different. So temperatures outside of the rock shelter in the winter will be cooler um, and in the summer they will be hotter. So the rock shelters do buffer temperature. Um, I also wanted to look at the genetic structure of the populations. So are they different? Are they genetically different in each habitat? Um, or are they the same? Uh, is there sex that's occurring that we don't realize? So using some um, genetic tools, I will determine if um, these plants are different, if the populations are different, or if they're interacting with one another. Um, and potentially, you know, if, they're, if they are, if the populations are significantly different and genetically different, um, that leads me to this third objective uh, that tests for local adaptation. So if these plants are genetically different um, and they are, they are only tolerant of the population and the climate of their specific region, like these orange dots represent right here, um, then that will help us to determine if this plant can tolerate um, climate change, if it will be able to move north, if we help it, if we assist it. <laughs>